Hello, what is up, everybody? This is Trinity Kid, and we're back yet again for some more prediction matches. This is for the upcoming pay per view Extreme Rules, and uh, I'll be covering this first match as you see here the World Heavyweight Championship bout between the challenger and former World Heavyweight Champion, you know, lost in an 18 second match at WrestleMania. Atrocity in my eyes. I don't know about you. Here we go, Daniel Bryan, and uh, he's going against the current World Heavyweight Champion, Sheamus. So, uh, I'm going to tell you how I feel of uh, this match will go, and uh, who I predict will win this match. Thus, the name, Prediction Matches. So, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, Freddy. Extreme rules. Let's do it. Let's turn this up. Let's turn this. Just, just a tad. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to show off this, this sketch. This body sketch. All right, while well, we get ready here, two out of three falls. But by the way, <clears throat> second one fall is for the world heavyweight championship. Ah, damn! I thought it was for the United States championship. That's the one I wanted to see. <laughs> A sentence you'll never hear. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's not doing it. Oh, that's his old, that's his old, uh, entrance. That yes chant is something, I gotta tell you, man. Maybe it is too loud. Alright, let's, let's turn this son bitch down, alright. That yes chant, I mean, it's funny. In defeat of losing, you know, having lost in a match at WrestleMania, 18 seconds, instantly bro kick after get after kissing his... Well, now ex-girlfriend AJ. Uh, all of a sudden, it turned around to like the best thing that's ever happened to him. Now he's insanely over, well, more over with the fans than he's ever been. These yes chants are going bananas. I mean, if you saw Raw in Miami, it was crazy. It was bananas. All right, these yes chants are going crazy. Not only at the arenas, on the internet, on the internet, on the internet. <laughs> it's already. It's already uh, plural, but uh, you get what I mean. A lot of people just commenting. I've just seen comments. Yes, 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 yes. This thing is taking the world over by storm. It's like this generation's what chant? If you want to put it like that. So much so that it even filtered into basketball in the Miami Heat game. You're hearing yes chants. I, I actually saw I looked it up on YouTube. I heard that there was actually yes chants. Uh, at the Miami Heat game, and damn, yo, <laughs> that's how you know if there was any like th that's over, man. That's saying get, getting over with fans. But anyway, let's get to the introductions. <clears throat> Everyday Washington, Red Dragon, American Dragon. That was Red Dragon. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. The Great White, who will no doubt win this. Oh, did I give my prediction too, away too early? My bad. Oh well, that's that's what I feel. So, because here's the thing, um, Sheamus for, well, you know, the better part of 2011. I'd probably say like the the second half of 2011 up till now has been booked as an unstoppable friggin' beast. Um, he has not. Lost really ever since turning face. I remember when he did turn face too. He was like, I think he, it was like a match between Wade Barrett or something, and then he just happened to turn face. I think that's what happened. But anyway, he turned face. Point is that he turned into an unstoppable face. He rarely, if ever, lost cleanly. I don't, I don't think he did lose clean, but I could be wrong because I haven't really paid attention to many of his matches. So I don't want to sound, you know, too ignorant to what I'm saying. I mean, too, too ignorant to uh, Sheamus' matches. You want to know what I'm talking about, but in my eyes, from what I've seen, he's been booked as friggin' unstoppable. I remember in the Survivor Series match, he'd even get eliminated. He eliminated himself by uh, going, you know, overboard. All right, there's too many run grapples. Let's actually get some uh, technical thing going here before uh, people start complaining. Oh, you only do run grapples. No, no, no. I can, you know, work it with that chain grappling too, baby. Alright, so anyway, yeah, he's been booked crazy, what was that, well he whiffed horrifically, point is, he has a reason for uh, being 
for winning. That's what I see. He's been booked as a monster face so far. So, you know, what's to say he won't win again? You know what I mean? And for Daniel Bryan, I could see a case for him winning as well. It's a ver it's a much smaller case and a very unlikely case, but uh, it's a case nonetheless in the sense that he's gotten over. Let's let's put it point blank. These yes chants are doing wonders for him. His new yes yes chant shirt thingy is selling like friggin' hotcakes. Uh, you know the dude is over. He's one of the very few heels in the company who actually get cheered, you know. Part of it is, you know, when you just look at Daniel Bryan. And I hope they don't turn him face too. I, I keep him, keep him edgy, and you know, all this. I'm a vegan, so I'm better than you type of stuff. He's getting over, so I like it. But um, both have a case. That's all I'm saying. To have a win, I'm just saying that Sheamus is a bigger case. And it would look kind of weak and kind of lame if. Dude just won it at WrestleMania, and then all of a sudden he's losing. I need to stop striking, cause uh, Sheamus, Sheamus's strikes are very slow in this game. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I whiffed. It's a botch. Yes, Irish whip me, then don't follow up. That's what you're about. Again, uh, not again, that's the first time I'm going to say this. This is on the hardest difficulty, so, uh, no dilly daddling here, saying, well, I'm putting in 100% on, a, you know, a weak AI. This is the hardest it's going to get. I do not mess with that hard, that, uh, hard difficulty or, or medium or easy, especially easy. Playing on easy is friggin' blasphemy. I remember when I first got this game, I was playing on normal because I did not understand the controls. <laughs> pose and Vogue and Taunt and Pose. All right, I'm going to wait. I don't know if there will be count outs in the actual match. And if you are seeing this in the future, and, they are in the, uh, and you're probably seeing this after the match. If you are seeing this, I put it in no DQ, by the way, too. <laughs> so... I don't know what's gonna happen. To Kaboom! There we go. Look at the welts. This is what I think is gonna happen. This is prediction matches, so I'm even predicting these stipulations. If the stipulations do change like drastically, like oh it's no DQ and all this stuff, and they change like everything, like it's probably like what would be drastic? Like uh, who's got what it takes? Who's going? Three stages of hell. With the world type deal. That was like a two out of three type thing, but they had a stipulation for every single match. So if they change it drastically, then I'll have to like redo the video, but I doubt it. I think it's just going to stay as a regular two out of three falls, which is good enough as it is. I really wish you would go in the ring and let Daniel lock it on you, and then you wouldn't ask me that stupid question. Oh. Oh, damn. Jerry's talking smizak. Explosive. Belly. I was trying to. I threw him on the friggin' steel chair. I hit your shin, buddy. You know I mean business when I hit your shin. Jeez. All right. All right. I'm gonna try to get my first fall right here. Running on eight minutes. Two, three. I got my first fall. <laughs> I know what I'm doing next, and I have my finisher saved up. I would like it though that you know since they basically screwed the pooch on that WrestleMania match that they at least make Daniel Bryan even if he is gonna lose look somewhat strong in this match not just get his ass kicked twice and not at least get one fall even if it's by cheating you could cheat I would I would accept I would accept him cheating just to get at least one fall you know like have maybe if AJ still cares have AJ come out boom Brogue friggin' kick. Alright, that's it. His shoulders are down. One, two, three. And that's it. Do I want this to happen? Because I just like, that was like a sweep, a clean sweep. He didn't even get one fall. I do hope Daniel Bryan does get one fall. Maybe it'd be by cheating. Who knows? Or just like hitting Sheamus over the head with like a, with like the ring bell or a steel chair, some, something to that effect. I hope he does get one, not just a complete squash match. 
well, more or less an elongated squash match. Seamus hitting like <laughs> Pretty funny, as soon as the match starts, throw kick. That's the first fall, and Daniel Bryan gets back up, tries to attack him. And then he just turns around and eats another bro kick and loses. <laughs> That's WWE trolling you right there. But anyway, hopefully they actually do have like a, at least a 15 minute match. Plus, 15, 20 minute match, I'll accept that. That's what it deserves, as a matter of fact. Not that nonsense they had at WrestleMania. Anything less than 10 minutes is not worthy of a, a World Heavyweight Championship title match in my eyes, especially at WrestleMania. So they shouldn't pull off that same travesty at Extreme Rules. I'm just hoping for it. So that's that. I think Sheamus is coming out the winner. Although Daniel Bryan does lose, I do hope that he keeps relevant because he's gotten, you know, he's really gotten over with the fans. This whole yes chant is sweeping the wrestling nation and is getting recognized, even, you know, in other forms of entertainment and sports like basketball, you know what I mean? So they shouldn't drop the ball with Daniel Bryan. They should keep pushing him, give him a, a good feud right after this because I'm pretty sure he will lose to Sheamus. So that's that. I just hope they don't drop the ball with him. That's it because they really have something that they can profit from and that would be enjoyable for the wrestling fans and profitable for World Wrestling Entertainment. So that's that. This is what I see that's going to happen. Sheamus is coming out the winner. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you think is going to win. Will it be a clean sweep, by the way? Will it be uh, Sheamus gets a win, Daniel Bryan gets a win, and then Sheamus gets a win, or, like, or some mix-up with the stipulation? Let me know what you think is going to happen, basically. And that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to comment, rate, please do subscribe. This has been Trini Kid. Busting out some more prediction matches for you as they are confirmed. And that's it. Check you guys later. Check out the Extreme Rules pay-per-view.